Alright, this is Denison here, and at our final week at Studio Systems, we've been designing a solar tracker device using Fisher Technique products and the NI MIDAC. Of course, on our solar tracker, we have the two solar panels here, which basically uh, take the sunlight and they, it converts it to a direct current voltage. And then we have our two photoresistors here, which basically they increase in resistance as more sunlight is reached and they basically send that to the MIDAC so the MIDAC can go to LabVIEW and compare the two. We also have our MIDAC which basically takes all the information and also outputs the signals to the stepper motor. We also, since we wanted both solar panels to have the same amount of sunlight, we basically put these two photoresistors which measure it and if the right is stronger than the left, it'll turn clockwise. And if the left is stronger than the right, then it'll turn counterclockwise. And this is all done by using this step mode that we used on the first uh, week at Studica Systems. And at that time, our task was just to turn it using LabVIEW and the NI MIDAC. But now we've incorporated it into our solar tracker device. These two motors were um, are actually used as weights to keep the arm balanced and uh, we'll move on to the programming side right after. For a design brief we had two main ideas. Our first idea was to drill a hole through the uh, black base and connect the stepper motor's axle to the arm's axle which is connected to the arm but that's not the idea we used. Instead we used the Fisher Technique solar tracking device idea where they had a worm gear which is connected to a DC motor in this case but we used a stepper motor and um, we use the same rotating base as they did which is basically a gear that we connected to our arm as you can see whenever the stepper motor moves it will move in slight adjustments causing the solar tracker to move very slowly in order to follow the sun. And that's our design brief. This is our process for our solar tracker. We divide it into four subsystems. The first subsystem is the motor and this basically was to make the motor move automatically without our command using the dial. Then we had our solar, which was to make sure the solar panels were getting um, the right amount of voltage. Then we had our sensor, and the sensor was the important part of the solar tracker, which basically detects for which way to move, so the solar panels can get the most amount of S2. So in the sensor, we had a few parts. We want to check does it work so we wanted to first check the readings on the photo resistors and this will basically indicate which one's stronger in the program we wanted to check obviously which one was receiving more light and this of course would determine which way the step motor uh, the step motor will want to move and then we had to make sure that it does trigger the motor and basically we want to compare the two and see which one was stronger and when, uh, when we figured out which one was stronger we would uh, turn it either clockwise or counterclockwise to help the solar panels get the most amount of energy. At the end we had to make sure that all of them combined together. So we had the motor and the photo and the photo resistor basically working as a team and the solar panels which collect the energy and a 4.7 capacitor that goes to a buzzer.